Similarly to a conventional refrigerator, the absorption refrigerator has a condenser and an evaporator. But it includes also an absorber and a burner assay. But it includes also an absorber and a burner assay. Besides, the expansion is achieved through a heat source by a burner or electric heater instead of using a compressor. Refrigeration occurs by heating a solution composed by distilled water and ammonia, in addition to hydrogen, which is essential to achieve the expansion process. The functioning concept can be better understood by following the animation. This is the system turned off. It seems to have a lot of pipes, but there are only two. They are not connected to each other, but one of them passes through the other, which explains the different solution levels. Pipe A contains a rich solution with 34% of ammonia. The remainder of this solution is composed by distilled water, which keeps the same level as in the tank. Pipe B contains a poor ammonia solution, composed almost entirely by distilled water, and keeps the entrance level of the absorber. When you light the burner or turn on the electric heater, the burner assembly receives a certain quantity of heat energy, which starts heating pipe A. When entering pipe C, this water and ammonia solution evaporates and rises up to the condenser. However, the water cannot reach the condenser, as its boiling point differs from the ammonia's. It is then condensed and returns to the absorber through pipe B. This is called a poor solution. Rising through pipe D, the ammonia vapor reaches the condenser, being converted into liquid again. Due to gravity force, the liquid ammonia goes through pipe E, and in pipe F, it meets the hydrogen, which has risen by pipe H, and both of them go to the evaporator. Then, the ammonia evaporates instantaneously due to the low pressure. This evaporation process causes the cooling of evaporator pipes, which removes the heat from the food stored in the product. After the evaporation, the ammonia gas with the hydrogen is heavier, and it goes down pipe I by gravity. They reach the tank and rise immediately to pipe G, which is the absorber. The poor solution, that is the water condensed at the start of the process in the pre-condenser, goes down through the same pipe. At this moment, the ammonia is separated from the hydrogen by the water, and then together return to the tank. Being now lighter, the hydrogen returns to pipe F. This is why it is called absorption system. The water has the characteristic to absorb the ammonia. Pipe J is the compensating tube. Its unique function is to enable the uncondensed ammonia vapor to return to the tank. This condition only occurs when ambient temperature is very high or when the refrigerator is installed incorrectly. Pipe L works as a safety valve, being located in a hydrogen-only circulation point. As hydrogen is a highly flammable gas, it requires the protection to avoid explosions in case of high pressures or temperatures in the system.